Welcome to the Tennessee 811 Remote Ticket Entry Training Video Series. Today's topic, Apartment Complexes. Apartment complexes can be complex. With multiple buildings and internal roads, they can be tricky to phrase on Tennessee 811 tickets, but not impossible with these tips. First, let's talk about marking an entire apartment complex. If you want lines marked across an entire apartment complex, you must first ask two questions. One, are there named roads inside the complex? And two, is the complex's total road frontage over 2,000 feet? If you answered no to both questions, you can put the entire complex on one ticket. You will need to specify the road frontage and depth of complex to mark. If you answered yes to either question, then the request will need to be broken up into multiple tickets. When in doubt, break it up. Here's an example of one complex on one ticket. We will call this one ABC Apartment Complex. It is at the address of 370 Wallace Road. There are no internal roads, and it is on a single road under 2,000 feet. Now let's see what the ticket would look like. We give directions from the nearest intersection, it's important to note what the complex's name is and what side of the road. We don't want the locators to go to the wrong place. And then in our remarks, we give the dimensions of the complex so the locators know how large this place is. And then we use the mark area tool to cover the entire complex so that we make sure to pull up all the member utilities we show in the area. Now let's look at an example of a complex with named roads throughout. As you can see here, we have one complex with several roads having different names. We have Little Meadow Way, Arbor Bend Drive, Silver Glade, Camilla View Way, and Mint Julep Manor, just to name a few. As with normal tickets, we can only work on one named road at a time. Each of these would need their own tickets. Next, we'll talk about marking a specific location inside a complex. When entering your directions to the address, First ask yourself, is this address for a single building in the complex or the entire complex? If the street address is for a single building inside the complex, then include distance and directions from the nearest intersection as usual. If the street address is for the entire complex, then include distance and directions both to the complex and inside the complex to where you need marked. Let's look at an example for an address of a single building inside a complex. Here is an address. We see the address and the nearby intersection. When we switch to the orthos view, we could see that this address is for a single building. Therefore, we could proceed as usual. Now let's look at when we need a location at an address that covers the entire apartment complex. We see the address and the nearby intersection again. As we measure from the intersection and then look at the orthos view, we can see that this address is pulling up simply at the entrance and is for the entire apartment complex. Now we'll need to find more directions to where the work is. I've highlighted the cursor to help show as we measure inside the complex to the work site. We're looking for buildings F and G at the far end of the complex which looks to be north approximately 1,200 feet from the entrance. Our directions then start from the intersection to get to the complex and then go inside the complex to the specific area we're looking for. One more important thing to keep in mind with apartment complexes. If your instructions are to mark lines within a radius of an apartment building, then each ticket can only mark at one building at a time. Marking a radius at multiple buildings will need to be split up into multiple tickets. That concludes this lesson on apartment complexes. Thank you for being a part of the Tennessee 811 Remote Ticket Entry Program. If you have any questions, contact the Remote Ticket Entry Trainer at the information on your screen.